Hey everybody, welcome to week four of your conscious living programming for the month. My name is Devin. This week we finally arrived at abundance. This has been our theme for the whole program, but we've worked our way up to it. So we started the first week with understanding that abundance is really just a frequency. It's an energy that we can get fluent in um, and master. Then we talked about scarcity and how scarcity is the really obstacle that we face when it comes to bringing in abundance. After that, we understood that gratitude is basically the bridge. It opens the door for abundance to flow in. And now we're just diving deeper into this conversation around abundance, which I'm very excited to do. So backtracking a little bit. Last week, we talked about how important it is to anchor into gratitude, right? Gratitude is basically saying that what I have is enough. I feel that. I love that. I express that on every level. What I have is enough. Abundance is then knowing that, having that gratitude and asking for more. Okay. This is the most basic quality of abundance is asking for more. And sometimes we can feel a lot of guilt or shame around doing that. So we'll start by clearing that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting more when it comes from a space of wholeness and gratitude, right? Gratitude is like this whole feeling of like, I don't need anything else, but I I want it, right? I want more. Why? Because I want to create on a bigger level. So this more thing is not selfish and that's not greedy. We want more because we want to live bigger lives. We want to contribute more impact. Does that make sense? So it's not a bad thing to have more, whether it's money or love or opportunity or recognition, whatever it is that you're charmed by, okay? So fundamentally, abundance is asking for more. And it gets a little bit tricky because it doesn't just show up on your doorstep, right? I can't tell you for sure how your abundance is going to unfold for you. What I can say from my own experience is that As we open up with gratitude and ask for more, believing that the the universe is infinite, that we can have and create whatever it is we desire, all we really do is open our eyes wider to see for more opportunity. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of like manifest your life language because it's not that helpful, right? Because at the end of the day, you actually still have to work and there's effort involved in creating the life that you want. Um, When it comes to abundance and we've done all the steps to invite it in, what we've really done is just opened our eyes wider to see where the opportunities are that we couldn't see in scarcity. And the truth is that they're everywhere. They're abundant, right? We can see the opportunities. We can see how to navigate to get what it is that we desire. But it's not just like law of attraction doesn't work like, oh, now I've arrived in the frequency and it's just going to fall in my lap. Although sometimes it might if that's in your best interest. There's still a lot of work and effort that goes into it. It's still a bit of a journey. Okay, and it's okay. It's good that it's that way because it's also super character refining. So we ask for more and then we be prepared to do the work and the effort where it's necessary, right? So for example, if we have set our sights on making more money, okay, and having more financial abundance, we can clear our scarcity. We can consciously ask for more, but at the end of the day, we are still the ones who have to go out and find the opportunities that are going to bring in more financial abundance, okay? So that work and effort piece still stays there, and sometimes it's still challenging, right? Sometimes life happens, things happen that we don't particularly like, and we still have to trust that there's still abundance. There's abundance even when we're not getting our way, okay? It's pretty amazing to start clearing through scarcity because what happens is once you clear through the scarcity, you're automatically in abundance. And when you're in abundance, you will just see. It's like you have a new pair of glasses on and you can see with more precision um, the opportunities and the abundance that's already around you. So much of this can be effortless. It's just that still you might be called to work a little bit for it and that's totally okay. So abundance is, it's a frequency It's really the nature of the universe. There's nothing that you have to manipulate or, you know, control to get it. It's just about like clearing your vision. It's about seeing 
through the scarcity and seeing into the infinite possibilities of what you can receive and of what you can create, okay? I hope that you are able to move forward this week through the exercises and really land in that kind of abundant state of mind. Um, If you have any questions, if you want to talk about this further, if you'd like more support, I'm always here. So is Alyssa. Anybody on our Ohana team, we're happy to help. Uh, But that is this month of Conscious Living. So excited to announce next month's theme and work with you guys on a new um, range of topics. But for now, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.